Welcome viewers to the SD online classes. This is class 10 physics chapter 2. The name of the chapter is the human eye and the colorful world. Page number in your textbook will be 5152. Before doing some numericals where we have reached I'll just tell you is that we studied human eye first and after that we went on to the detail of human eyes how it is what are the different parts what is near point far point for the eyes and then the defects of vision there were types those types were myopia hypermetropia okay and then uh, hypermetropia was the second one the third one was presbyopia the fourth one was astigmatism all these were discussed in our previous four videos today we are heading to the numericals on how to solve problems on this. Before doing that, I'll give you some important information which is your good for your day-to-day -day knowledge as well. You know that <clears throat> human eyes can survive even after your death. Very important, okay? That is why it is possible to donate your eye after you die, okay? So how it is possible? There is a facility where blind people can request for eyes at present about 35 million people are blind in the world and they can be cured if everyone who is dying is ready to donate their eye okay so this is how it goes and just like blood bank we have eye bank as well so those are going to give the eye to the people who are needing and while donating there are some important things like any age group male or female small children or elder all can donate eyes so there is no restriction so people even having wearing glasses spectacles they can also donate their eyes people who are suffering from hypertension like high bp asthma and some other diseases simple diseases they are also type even diabetes also they can also donate the eyes okay but uh, some are some cannot donate like hiv patients aids patient hepatitis b patient c patient all these cannot donate and Whenever a person dies, after four to five hours, their eyes have to be removed in order to do this simple operation and then the hospital is ready to take it. So this information you keep in your mind, okay? And you study in your books whenever you find this type of things. They are important scientific informations. Okay, now coming to our present class, what we do today is we are going to do solve numerical defect of visions, okay? For myopic eye first we will do. Let's see. So let us see. For myopic eye, myopic means what? Let me just tell you, short-sightedness. We have already done the first one. Can see near object, this type of defect can see near object, but cannot see far object, okay, in short I have written. So what is the correcting lens? Concave lens. Now further, for objects which is at infinity, their problem is this one, should form the image at D, the far point of the eye where the image is should be formed okay so let us do in the corrected situation after correcting what is the condition of the eye so the object distance when the far object i cannot see that means infinity why infinity object is always kept in the negative side so that is why minus infinity and image should be formed remember should be formed the english is important the should be formed so it should be minus d okay now why minus d because it is a concave uh, lens I am using right now after this I'll use the lens formula what is lens formula 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u why this because we are using concave lens okay from here I will try to find what is f what is 1 by v 1 by minus t minus 1 by minus infinity anything is divided by infinity is going to be 0 this part is going to be 0 so what I am going to get 1 by f equal to 1 by minus d so this is going to give you f equal to minus d so that means what you need you need a corrective lens okay focal length of your correcting lens is the distance of the far point from the eye so that is what you need okay so the power will be what p is 1 by minus d in meter because it is calculated in meter okay the the unit will be diopter diopter is the unit of power so this is the important thing which we are going to use in numerical they are very simple to solve okay after this remember this for myopic and we will be easily solving that 
Let us see this example. A person with a myopic eye, that means he can see near object, cannot see far object, cannot see objects beyond 1.2 meter distinctly. He can see but that is not distinct, okay. So that will be your image distance. What should be the nature of the corrective? You already know what is the corrective lens required because we just discussed it is the concave lens you need, okay. And used to restore the proper vision. How much power you need, how much focal length need, that was your question, okay. So what you will do is object is his problem is far object so minus infinity right and always this is like this okay for myopic the object will be always like this and the image is what what is his problem minus 1.2 meter beyond this he cannot see right now what do you do 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u so this is your formula of the lens let's keep this part is going to be 0, 1 by infinity, okay. 1 by minus 1.2, minus 1 by minus infinity, again 0 that. 1 by f equal to 1 by minus 1.2. This I will not write. 1 by infinity is always 0, okay. That is no need to write. So this will give f equal to minus 1.2. Even if you directly do f is equal to minus d also, like that also you can find. It's okay. So 1.2, this will come in. What is there? meter so it will come in meter so what will be the power power is 1 by f already in meter so no need to change because powers unit is always in meter per meter so what is this 1 by minus 1.2 how to write this i'll write minus 10 by 12 okay if i divide this i'll get 0 0.83 Per meter per meter is otherwise called diopter so this you see the power of the lens is minus 0 0.83 diopter it is a concave lens right that is your answer directly also you can easily write f is equal to minus d 1.2 and then divide it by one uh, under one you put it and then you get this answer okay so this is the easiest question thank you